Hello and welcome back to a brand new Studio Blocks episode. Not on the Studio Blocks server, but a Studio Blocks episode nonetheless. You see, I have made kind of a bet with myself, similar to another one of our members, the Sephrona, that I am not going to get an Elytra on Studio Blocks until I get an Elytra in Hardcore. We've had three attempts so far, two of them. We got to the Dragon Fight. So now it's attempt number four. Um, I have a plan. It's a few, I haven't figured out how many stages are in the plan, but first of all, it's just about getting the basic resources. So that's food and a bed. So realistically, I would love to find a village. I feel like finding a village first is the best plan. So I am going to get myself a boat. Just because there's probably going to be a lot of traversing the seas. And then we're going to look for a village. Oh! What a convenient shipwreck. Do you have a... Uh, you won't have a treasure chest. Ah, whereabouts are we? You might have... Uh, a treasure map. But it's not looking like you do. Well, that would have been a nice start. The treasure map would have been very useful. Because we also need a lot of iron. I, I want to get full iron armor and an iron sword. Probably an iron pick as well. Um, okay. So yeah, I'm going to go adventuring. We're going to speed up time a little. I don't want to do any cuts this episode. Because I want to show that it's all one attempt. But we will be speeding up time quite a lot. Well, I found a village. Hopefully, it's going to be a pretty good village. We will find out. Uh, I'm not currently seeing any hay bales, which I was hoping for. As that gets me lots of food. Oh, I see some. Okay. There is at least some hay bales. I also need a couple of beds and a workstation. I mean, I could get a bell as well, but that's really not necessary. So... We grab hay bales for bread. Well, let's just get all the stuff I need from here. You will also have seen I have raided a couple of shipwrecks. Got some buried treasure. I do now have all the iron I need. We may be doing more, but not going out of our way for them. At least not too far out of the way. Okay, well now I've got the basics done, my plan for this is to build a basic raid farm. A very basic raid farm, but it does mean I am going to need to find a pillager outpost. So we've got a lot more exploring to do, I'm going to get on with it really. So we're going to find a nice big area of land, I don't really want to be running through forests that just awkward. Um, I'm not going to bother going for villages and then searching around them for outposts. We'll search for an outpost and then look for a nearby village. That seems like the best way to me. So yeah, back to adventuring.
Well, I found my pillager outpost. We're going to be using that to start our raid, but we're going to be building the raid farm quite a distance away. Uh, so I now need to search around the area, hopefully find a village, because I am going to need a villager. But this is a good start, because not only are we going to get emeralds from this, but we're also going to get totems of undying, which is going to be so useful when it comes to the dragon fight. Because normally I do well with dragon fights. I'm good at fighting the dragon, it's an easy fight. But the... As I, as I said, two of the last three attempts I got to the dragon fight, I died so quickly. So having those totems of undying is going to be very useful. And there is a village. Right. I need to find a nice spot for this farm. I want it to be at least 150 blocks away from the pillager outpost. I don't know if that's spherical distance or what I call taxi cab distance. Oh, not just me. It's just a, math a mathematical term. So we're going to do taxi cab distance as that is further. So then I'm safer. So I need to find out what the coordinates are over there. Run away. Run away. Okay. So is that 6670? Uh, the number is going up. So as long as I'm beyond 6820, I am happy and we can start putting this thing together. Uh, it looks like it's going to be across this river, which is not a problem. And I should have pretty much everything I need for this. Oh, I do need ladders, so we'll chop down some trees just to make sure I've got enough ladders. But yeah. As long as we're beyond here, we're good. I do need a nice big flat area. But we can make that happen. I don't think I'm too close to that village. We may go this way a bit. Yeah, there's a nice flat area over there. We'll, we'll use that. Hopefully not be too close. But yeah, first of all, I'm going to chop down some trees. Get some ladders going. And then we're going to build a little raid farm. So yeah, yeah, we've got plenty of flat space around here that I can use. It, it's further away from the village, so it's going to be a little awkward getting the villager over here, but I can make that work. So this feels like a good flattish spot. Uh, yeah, we'll use this. I should be far enough away. Let's have a little nap. Have, have have a little have a little nap. Just go on, son, go down. I want to have a little nap. I also want to eat. Let's eat. There we go. So first thing, I am going to dig out a little bit of ground just to make it flatter, and then we're going to dig out a six by eight area. So I am following just a simple raid farm design. I just couldn't be bothered to come up with a simple one myself. But it's very obvious how it works. It is from Voltrox. I will post a link to the video down in the description. Um, but yeah, going to dig out this area, dig out a 6x8 and then I'll get back to you. There we go. I, I, I like digging in spirals. So then we're going to go here and we're going to dig a little 2x2 two two down 4 blocks. Which, this, this isn't going to take long. There's really no point in speeding up time here because, let's be honest, it's done. So now we get down the bed, a composter or any job block. Now that he didn't have a torch, but I want a torch down here just to make sure nothing spawns. Then, 
the fun part. I've got to get a village, a villager down there. So I'm going to figure that out, and we'll be back. Okay, we are here. We have made it. In theory. Do you just jump straight down? Perfect! Right, let's cover you up. I'm just going to mark these two corners because now I need a bucket. Uh, there we go. And we're going to get a bucket of water into each of these corners, which will hopefully flush any mobs to here. Uh, I feel like, yeah, there's, there's water down here. This is not going to be a big job. And then from here, let's do... I'm going to do the dig down first. So, I just want to get my coordinates here. Six, seven, six, four. So, we're going to dig down 27 blocks. Yeah, 27 blocks. So, that should be 27. So, I'm just going to go down a couple more and dig a little room out. Fortunately, I didn't come across anything bad during that dig. Um, but let's just take this out. It, this, the size of this room doesn't really matter. Now, I am going to need some more iron, I've realised. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Torch, torch. Then we'll just dig out a bit more this way. I cannot remember what the coordinate was. We'll just go out, say, five more blocks. Three, four, and five. And then I need to get my ladder in so I can get up and down nice and easily. Okay, that's looking good. Let's do a little back section here. So we're going to do two blocks up along the back. I then need to make eight signs. Do I have enough for eight signs? It seems unlikely, but we'll find out. Uh, oh yeah, I should do just about... Just about... Which means I'm going to need more wood because I need a chest. So we do sign. Oh, I... Let's just block this water in so I don't get flushed down the hole. Sign. Sign. There. Nope. There. Then... Signs coming off these. And then... On top. That placed correctly somehow. Perfect. Right. We can now... In fact, I'm going to keep the water blocked in for now. Going to make things a little bit easier. 
I need to get some more logs, some more iron, and a bucket of lava. Fortunately, I saw some lava by the village. And then we're pretty much good to go. We're almost there. But I do need another eight iron, which is going to be not the most fun to get. Hopefully there's another iron golem over there already. That will help. Okay, I should now have everything I need. Let's let the water flow once again. Then I want to convert these into chests. And then in there, a couple of hoppers. Oh, I also would like some slabs. So then over here, we put down our trap door, so people can't follow me down, just in case. I don't think they would be able to anyway, but worth protecting yourself. Then we're going to do chest, chest, hopper, hopper, slab, slab, and then in theory, in theory, this now works. So, let's head over to the pillager outpost, hopefully get a raid captain, and see if this raid farm works. So, obviously we're looking for a banner man. And if we don't see a banner man, I don't want to get into unnecessary combat. So if I don't see a banner man, we are just going to run away and come back. Unload the area. Get more of them in. So it should just be back and forth between the farm and the pillager outpost. Oh, I'm being followed. I've seen a banner man. I have seen a banner man. I need to get rid of these guys. Ow. One down. Two down. Okay. Now let's deal with the banner man. Okay. I definitely saw you down here. Where are you, my friend? I can hear you. There you are. I think I'm going to sleep first. Because sleep is nice. Just, you know, waiting for the sun to go down. Hopefully I'm far enough away from them that I can sleep. I reckon it's down enough. Oh, it's not down enough. There we go. Huh. 
Okay. I don't want to go this way because there's an angry man shooting at me. Here we go, here we go. Let's see if this farm is working. Uh, is anybody following me? No, that means I no longer need to sprint. I should probably sprint if the raid does begin, just so I can get to safety. The raid's beginning! I did forget we also have a bell that we can put down. Just so we can see where they are. Uh, you can go there. Not, not picking up on anything yet. I have no idea what's going on. So the idea is they should run towards that villager, get caught in the water, and fall down. And then any... There we go. Uh, oh, yeah, they're in the water. They are just falling and dying. I might need to raise this up a little. We got one raid down. Didn't get as many emeralds as I wanted. Got a lot of totems of undying, which is going to be useful. But you probably would have seen I had to go underground a lot. So I am going to get a load of slabs. Don't care what it looks like. Just any slabs I can get. And we're going to cover that entrance. Because, boy, I don't want that happening again. And I'm probably going to need to do a few more raids to get everything that we need. So, let's get that done. I'm, I'm going to need way more blocks than this, but we can at least make a start. Oh, I think we've got enough emeralds and plenty of totems of undying ready for the dragon fight. I need to now get to the nether to fight off some blazers. So I am going to get a uh, nether portal built up. Hopefully that shouldn't take too long. I need to find a good source of lava and then we'll get going on that.
Well, the nether portal is built. Let's hope for a good nether spawn. I feel like it's going to be rubbish. I'm really nervous about this one. Yep, yep. Yeah, Crimson Forest. That's not great. Uh, let's see. This feels like a very dangerous Crimson Forest. I think I'm just going to dig back behind and dig through the wall. That way I can keep myself relatively safe. Ah! Oh, oh! Oh dear! Lava! Well, this has gone horribly wrong already. Um, we're at a fairly good Y level. Oh, see? These don't die. So I now need to just dig a tunnel out to a safe area. And hopefully... We find a fortress. This might take some time. I think, I think I've spotted another fortress. I should make my way over and hopefully my pick won't die before I get there. But this has, certainly looks like another fortress to me, but it's really difficult because it's in shadow. Uh, let's get through, I'm trying to get through the salt deltas. This is not going to be fun. And I've got four durability left on my pickaxe. I've got enough for one more pick, so... Hopefully not too bad. Let's make that pick. And also get some blocks into my offhand. So I don't die. Because that... You know, it's hardcore. I, I, I'd rather that didn't happen. 
Oh, this is scary and stupid. Hey, I got up without dying. That is definitely a fortress. Uh, let's make my way over there recklessly. Woohoo! Oh, maybe not that recklessly. So now, just need to find ourselves a nice little blaze spawner. I think, I think I have found myself a nice little blaze spawner that we can use. That took an awfully long time. This is a really big nether fortress, but I managed to get eight diamonds. So I'm not complaining. So let's make our way over. We're just going to dig out a nice little blaze farm. And we should get this done nice and quickly. Uh, in previous attempts, this bit has not gone well because I've done it badly. But this time we're hopefully going to do it a bit better. So I want to dig in there. Oh god, I hear the blazes and it's terrifying. That's immediately terrifying. So I want to just give myself a little ceiling so that I feel safe and comfortable. Then we're going to dig these sides out. And cover up the ends. Then the same on this side. Then a nice little walkway for me. So, again, cover up the ends. Then I can get rid of the middle blocks to give me a better view. Uh, let's cover up these holes so I don't fall down. That feels like a good idea. Then we can replace these blocks. Yeah, hopefully, yep, the blocks above are what I need. Uh, although I want to cover that up, I also want to cover that up. Then in theory, is just place down the trap doors and open them up. And then we've got ourselves a little blaze farm. So now I just need to wait until I've got about 10 blaze rods will do, and then we can continue the adventure. But more speedy, uppy, timey stuff. Yay, speedy, uppy, timey stuff. So there we have 10 blaze rods. I now have a nice long walk out of the nether. Then we can get some ender pearls and then we can actually do this fight. And hopefully I don't die beforehand. But I'm feeling confident. I've got the totems of undying. I might do another little set of the raid farm just to get a few more. And we'll see where this goes. But first, I've got to get out of the nether. That's going to be a long walk.
I've decided to forego... Oh, great, it's night time, I can sleep. Uh, this room is getting annoying. Yeah, I've decided to forego doing another raid, because I checked my inventory. I've got six totems of undying. That's plenty. So that means well, we can start getting on with this quite quickly. My plan is... Oh, I see some villagers out and about. Let's get ourselves a Fletcher. You, sir, you want to be a Fletcher, don't you? Good. No, no, don't walk away. Don't stay, stay here. There you go. I'm going to buy three stacks of arrows from you. Thank you very much. And then I'm going to buy a bow. Now, I'm thinking, let's find a cleric. I'm sure there's a temple around here. So hopefully we can find a cleric. We can potentially get some enderpearls off the cleric. And then on the way, if we need more enderpearls, I'll just make small enderman farms. Uh, I don't know how, how many I'm going to need. I certainly don't have enough wow. emeralds for what I'm going to need. But we can kill Enderman quite easily. So, the journey will soon begin. I see the temple. This is such a weird village. I mean, I've seen them going up mountains. It's rare that you see a village going up a mountain and then down the other side. So is there a cleric about on this side of the village? I can't see one. Let's just take your brewing stand and give it to one of the other villagers. You, you clearly don't deserve the job. If you can't be bothered to stick around your temple. You may have died to zombies, I don't know, but I'm going to assume that you abandoned your post. Uh, so now we've got to climb back up the mountain again. To go down the other side of the mountain to the other half of the village. Because again, what a weird village. And we can make ourselves a cleric. Hopefully. Get ourselves, ow, some enderpearls. Uh, where's the other village? I'm sure there were other villages about. I need a starting direction. Hello, other villagers? Other villagers. Uh, I, I think I'm going to look to the left. Uh, no, don't, not seeing any villagers here. The voice in my head was wrong. Oh, no, the voice in my head was right. So, you are going to be my cleric. Thank you. Uh, so, I need to buy... 10 bits of... Well, no, I need to buy redstone off you 10 times. Then... I, 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 stay here. Buy lapis off you. Uh, I'm going to use up most of your emeralds just getting to the potential interpol trade, aren't I? Then some glowstone. No! I'm not even going to get that. I need to get more emeralds. We're going to do another stint at the raid farm so we can get some more enemies. Let's do this. Okay, after that session, five enderpearls is not a terrible start. But obviously, we're going to definitely need to build some enderman farms along the way. But we now have enough where I can start seeing what direction to go in. That way. Okay. Break. Yeah, you broke. Oh, no, not. I know what I mean. It didn't destroy itself. It just broke. So, we are going to head in this direction for a while, and we'll see what happens.
So I have already found the stronghold, which I was not expecting to do this quickly. Uh, I definitely don't have enough eyes of Ender. I've also lost one, so I've only got four. But we'll head down there, find the portal, see how many more I need, and then we can come back up and make an Enderman farm. Time to... Oh, time to get some wood so I can make torches, and then time to dig. I'm just going to dig down a little so I remember exactly where it is. Now it's time to get, you know, d what I just said. Let's, let's uh, go fast. Well, that was weird. Ah! But hey. At least now, I've found it. So now, just need to find the actual portal room. But that was very confusing. Okay, where are you, portal room? Oh! It's... it's there. So that would put it... Not quite there. Ah, we'll just dig through. Break the spawner. Kill. The, kill the silverfish. Come on, don't get killed by the silverfish. Did those silverfish just appear and then immediately die in the lava? Because if so, hilarious. Right, how many eyes of ender do I need? All 12. Excellent. Excellent. Right. Well, oh, well, that that's useful. I mean, we may be able to find them all in here. It's unlikely, but I'm up for a bit of exploration. And if not, we'll head up top and build a little Enderman farm. Well, things, we're getting there. We've got one pearl, which, you know, that's 12.5% of the way there. Unfortunately, at this point, I'm actually doing a live stream in under an hour. And i got to get dinner. So.
So we're going to be leaving things here for now. And I don't know. I might come back right here. Or maybe I'll get the rest of the enderpearls. And then we'll join in just before the dragon fight. That feels like it's going to be more fun. So I will see you. Well for you. Now. So I wanted to take the time to explain what happened before the dragon fight. Because... Things got wild. You may notice I'm now in spectator mode. I'm recording this at the end. Because I didn't have my recording software up. I thought I'll just start recording when we get to the dragon fight. So as you know I was getting ender pearls. I needed to get another seven. And I was using a mixture of strategies at night. I was just killing endermen in the, my little enderman killing chamber. And then during the day I was getting raid captains. And taking them back to the raid farm. So I could use the raid farm and as you would have seen during the time lapses with the raid farm I was doing a lot of killing by hand just punching them because they were on one hit kills I didn't want to use up the durability of my sword uh, I switched to my sword for witches because they've got more hit points so they wouldn't be one hit kills and then an evoker fell and wasn't a one hit kill and it spawned in Vex. In a confined space. I was having to fight off Vex. Within about 30 seconds. I went through. All 14 of my totems of undying. And I died. So that is the end of this run. Now. That doesn't mean. I'm giving up. It's not the end of my time in hardcore tomorrow at 10 a.m british summertime we are going to be streaming more hardcore attempts in fact what i'm currently doing is watching videos on speed running strats i found a small series of uh strategies for speed running i am watching through each video once and once only and then we're going to have my first attempt at speed running just from what I can remember from these strategies. And there's quite a lot of information. There's no way I'm going to remember it all. We're probably going to go through quite a lot of worlds. But it's going to be good fun. So join us then. Also, there's going to be a bigger stream in the afternoon. Over on the Studio Block server where we are building the Iron Amphitheatre. And as the sun rises on this world. My time on this world sets. So... If you liked the episode, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Weird and Bearded, and I will see you all next time.